I'm just wondering why all my lambs are certainly in a corner in there. It's never a good sign. Morning world, welcome to Wednesday 22nd of July 2021 and today is the day Audrey is moving into her new home. Um, we've got some bits and bobs of furniture to bring down uh, before she gets to us. Things like her essentials, her kettle, her Alexa thingy, um, TV and bits and bobs so she can go on and be entertained while we're fetching the rest of it and then it's the last of the furniture I suppose. Uh, we're discouraging her from bringing too much because she's currently in a three bedroom townhouse and there's not enough room for everything. There was never going to be enough room for everything. But anyway, ah, that might explain it. I don't know if you can see it. White pickup behind the hedge down there. That might explain why all my sheep are in the corner. They've either gone to the corner because they've heard the neighbour calling his or he's shepherd by the way or perhaps his dog came out and it inadvertently rounded up mine I've got to go and check them anyway so we'll wander down and have a look I've just watched um, Rich Cornock's video for the morning while I was having my breakfast Caught the devil out trespassing on our oilseed rape. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Boy, I'm going to rip him for it. Trespasser. <laughs> I've had one or two folks say to me, well, if you don't want people wandering all over your land, maybe you should mark your footpaths better? I don't know. Can you, um, see that? I mean that, that to me looks like that way. Or is that just simple farmer logic and you know. <laughs> I don't know. So, does that footpath say anything about wandering around over there or over there? Not to me. Uh, we did have a bit of a Bit of a cold one last night. All right, boys and girls. Some of them are let down in there. They might just be getting out of the wind. While we're here, we're going to have a quick look at poo. That's what I want to see. Nuggets. Little nuggets. That one's still a little bit loose, but there is nuggets in it. So I think we've probably cured them of the worm, which is a good thing because if they're going to the farm, I don't want to be taking worm burden over there. Yeah, okay. Everything seems okay. They're even starting to clean up a bit. <laughs> Hi there, boys and girls. A couple of the smaller ones are still hanging on to a bit of muck on their backsides, but it's the thing is, I don't really want to dag them off this time of year because bums get cold. Okay, they're okay. I'll get back on the footpath. That was bad timing. 
the skip lorry has just turned up. Let's see if I can catch Shane. I chose the wrong hat today. I'd be better off with the armor of fud today. That's whistling around my wickers. That'd be nice, have another mud like the way. I hope that stays on there. That ain't going nowhere. Alright, I'll get the gate. Thanks mate. Okay, it's 10 to 10. We said we start moving mud all day at about half past ish, which gives me enough time to maybe put a bit of fresh bedding in at least one of these sites. Who needs it most? You could do with a bit in there, but actually you're not, it's not that wet. See what I was gonna, I said it before, when the poo gets mixed in with the wood chip, it becomes, it almost becomes part of the bed. Uh, you could do with a little bit though. Let's chuck that over there before someone starts to chew it. And that one. In there. Alright, so you could do with some, but not urgent. How about this lot? Boys and girls, actually, you're not urgent either. I think actually I might move the mother-in-law first and do bedding later on. That's the plan. So I suppose the next question is, do I take the high sides off of my Defender? Or am I better off leaving them on there? I might actually be better off leaving them on there. I think I'll take him out the back and just put brush through it though. You know, maybe. Right, just had a phone call from the guys who do our mugs and stuff to say that they are ready and I have to pick them up by one o'clock because they're off for their Christmas meal. Right, that might alter things a bit. I can still go and clean the back of the Land Rover, I think. How many times do you reckon before it starts? I still reckon three, maybe four. Heat, heat, heat. It's one. Oh, oh that was a lumpy one. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, I'll be sure. Nope. That's two. Usually it's on three, but it is really cold today. I've tried putting the heater on twice in a row. The actual heater doesn't seem to make a big difference. It just seems to always want to start on the third or fourth.
Go figure. Biscuit, come on. Where are you? In you go. Right, we've got another trip to Yate. Yate. To go and pick up some more last minute merchandise. I've, I've had a load of messages from folks saying, we didn't even know you had a merchandise outlet, eBay shop, or anything like that, and uh, why didn't you tell us? Well, because we didn't. Anyway, uh, we we sold out of so much stuff. I mean, the key rings are flying out like there's no tomorrow. I mean, they are they are really nice little key rings. They're metal. Um, they're well made, and they're cheap. So. Um, yeah, I think one person ordered six. I'm assuming they're going to go as, um, well, I don't think they're going to get them for Christmas, but maybe late Christmas present. I, I don't know. Anyway, we're off over back to Monarch again now to pick up some mugs. Um, I've done a small run on our two best sellers, which is currently the Farmer P logo. Uh, mug and the morning world um, we, were all, we were always selling out of those things and we actually sold out of those in the summer I just never bothered replacing them so we've ordered a few more of those um, like I said we've not gone mad at it because after Christmas sometime in the new year we'll go over and see the guys at Monarch and we'll sit down and we'll literally just do some fresh new designs um, one or two of you I've actually got almost everything that I've ever produced, um, which is um, humbling and surprising. But yes, yeah, thank you very much for the support. Right, anyway, off to Yate, pick up some mugs. I'll show you the two designs I've come, I'm bringing back because, uh, like I said, a lot of our newer subscribers and that have never actually seen them because they haven't gone back in the back catalogue and, and actually seen what we do. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the two mugs we're bringing back. It's, it will be limited quantities. Literally, I think it's 50 of one and 30 of another. Limited quantities. So yeah, when they go, I just order some more after Christmas. What are you grumbling about now? Right, that is a couple of boxes of mugs picked up. I just had a chat with the boss man and said um, how did he feel about me perhaps going in next year with a video camera and recording how they make our mugs um, or print our mugs how they do the biscuit toys um, they may or may not do some t-shirts for us they don't actually do the t-shirts so that's outsourced for them um, so maybe not so much on the clothing but yeah, so things like the key rings, the toys, and the mugs, and the caps, that's where they're all made in one place. So and it's all, well, eight, nine miles away from home. It's taken me 15 minutes to get here. I've always been a great believer in trying to keep business, or my custom, as close to home as possible, because the way I look at it, if I spend it local, Sooner or later, some of that money comes back to me. If I spend it in China, I'll never see that pound again. Gone. So, so even if it costs a pound more locally, I'd rather spend it local and have some chance of getting some of it back. Thank you. I don't need a wash. Thank you. That's my logic. Right, shall I show you what I bought home? So we've got a bunch more of these, the Farmer P bug. So they've been actually quite popular. And these fellas, if I can get the box open, not so many of these, the Morning World bug. So that one, right, you can go back in the top there. So if you want one, we'll order one. 